update because we're not on the screen actually i'll turn it for a second so that you can see it we are fine i'm just i'm good all right i did do, didn't do anything wrong don't need to pull caps nope, all right yet. cool not yet Maybe later. um we are now descending down we start our initial descent to glacier park can't really see on this side over here but um we are just over top of the the mountains right now. They give me 15,000. We're now crossing 21,000 for it for 15, and then we're going to do the visual. Um, I'm expecting that they're going to we're going to come right over top of uh, Flathead Lake, one of the largest lakes. It's huge. I want to say it's like seven eight miles long. By the way, it starts at the top of of uh, Kalispell, goes down to. Polson down here, very, very long, and then there's Big Fork over here, great, you'll see it, the lake, okay. it's wonderful. Um, and then they'll probably bring us in, depend what kind of jets or what else is coming in. Usually it's a left down when you circle around, you'll see Glacier Park over to your right. Uh, the ski mountain will be at your 10 o'clock when we're coming on the downwind, uh, which is Whitefish Mountain and then bring us into the runway. So most likely they're like coming down like this little river you or kinda, all you the way? Like they'll bring us in here and then you'll kind of come into here, turn into here, turn into okay. This is kind of your down one. So we'll say, I've actually only flown in here once, which was in my um, SR. And um, I mean, I flew in here a million times commercial, but uh, I only flew in here myself once. contact Seattle Center, 118.62. 8.62. Well, this is awesome. I'm excited to see it. Yeah, me too, right? So we're on 33.4, which is the final, so um, which is should be the final approach for number that they just gave us. So I'm just going to get tower and standby ready. Stay ahead in the airplane. We have weather already. We have Bravo. And well, I'm going to just confirm that it's still one thing. It is Bravo. She told us it. So and I've got ground on standby. So we should be good to go here. Stopping on the checklist at the ice protection because we might need, I don't know what's going to happen as we descend. It's warming up nicely, so hopefully we won't need to throw boots on. Um, I'm going to reset now. And if we need to reset again, I will. But. 3582, climb maintain, so 320. Uh, 320, Scott, 3582. Center sky with 37.15, if it helps. The top of this uh, broken layer is about 15,600. Yes, All right, so, so we're just crossing over 18,000. We just put our 3009, which we got earlier, so our barometric pressure is set. Our flight plan is really, they're giving us vectors to final, so. That's a, always a good thing. Hopefully the landing distance is less well, than what so we're... let's see if my theory... He's bringing this up. That's all right. So we got a guy with COVID next to me. It's no big deal. Uh, it's only like partial it's COVID. It's a little bit of COVID. It's all right. So our total air temperature right now is minus one. We're coming down. Our clouds are... We're not going to hit these clouds for another couple thousand feet. So the Lewis way of looking at it, which may be wrong, is that if as long as that... TAT is like above zero. Those wings think it's warmer outside. Let's see if that theory holds. What do you think? Here's zero. It's, yeah, we'll see. So there's zero. Our outside air temperature is minus still minus 13, right? But we're cruising right now, so there's a lot of friction. Yeah. You do this? It's warm, right? What happens? I, I don't know. <laughs> my, my hands got hot. <laughs> so that's your wing lesson for the day. Like to get a visual. So total air temperature is at zero now. I expect it to go up to one momentarily. Okay, we are probably a thousand feet from the clouds. Visual, visual, please. There's the plus one. Okay, so Roger. Lewis is not worried about ice protection at this point. <laughs> Let's see. Sandy's not either yet. <laughs> Sandy's not easy. <laughs> Until easy I yet. see the ice. Right. Center 777, Lima Sierra, just to maintain 10,000. 10,000, Lima Sierra. American 1117, do you remember on the climb out, what was the basis? All right. Uh, 
estimating about uh, 11, 10.5, 11. No, we're 777 Lima Sierra, clear to Glacier Park Airport. Clear to the Airport for 7 Lima Sierra, thank you. Number 7 Lima Sierra, as you make that turn, Glacier Park will be at your 12 o'clock, 25 miles. Okay, we'll look for it, thanks. All right, direct the airport. We are now direct the airport. Oh, the That's all like American the, 11, uh, tops are about uh, 11. 10,000 is not going to do us much good considering American the, 11, 17, I think 15. I had it at 9,000 the base. <laughs> yeah. I think that's why she asked that American to get and see if there's a base. So this is the bases. Flathead Lake. Okay. We're kind of in the bottom third of it. <coughs> that's Route 93, that highway right there. Number 777, Lima Sierra, descend and maintain 9,000. 9,007, Lima Sierra. Okay. Solid turn right, 2571, 9.8, 91, 4,000. Pretty video camera stuff, you don't need to see the... Cockpit stuff. Alright, Zenair 2571, Salt Lake Center, Roger, climb maintain, level 280. 280, rest 2571. Now the at or above 10,000. Alright, so descend, I smash the flaps, we got our lights on. Thank you. We're up to flaps and airspeed up before landing, landing gear we're up to. That differential is coming down, so that looks good. Central aircraft has weather information. I got Nada here. I don't know what you got. Central for Nebraska, South Dakota, North Dakota, Montana, Wyoming. So here's over here in the corner would be big for it once we break out of it. Uh, which because now we're getting to the top of the Number lake. Number seven 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 Lima Sierra Glacier Park Airport. Twelve o'clock two zero miles. Okay, I'm going to need a little bit lower just on the base of this for seven Lima Sierra. Number seven Lima Sierra. Roger, 9000 is the minimum IFR altitude for the next uh, few minutes. Okay, thanks. That'll work fine. We got it there. Skywest. 32. All right, we'll contact uh, 324 uh, uh, 3732. So we go. That's all I for Gamma 872. We are now in the clear. Let's get the visual then to 3 4. That looks beautiful. Yeah, we, are, we have all two right. sites so we behind the these two the three four. little puffies. Puffies, yeah. Okay. Would be where the airport is. Number 7, Lima Sierra, did you say that you have Glacier Park Airport in sight 12 o'clock, 1 5 miles? Affirmative for 7, Lima Sierra. Number 777, Lima Sierra, Roger. Cleared visual approach on 820, Glacier Park. Clear for the visual, 2-0, Glacier, for 7 Lima Sierra, thank you. Air 777 Lima Sierra, radar service terminated, contact Glacier Tower, 124.55. Over to Tower, thanks for your help, 7 Lima Sierra. American. All right, so we're going to go down to 3, uh, 4800. <coughs> Glacier Tower, vision jet, triple seven Lima Sierra, inbound for the visual, 2-0. Vision Jet 777, Lima Sierra, Glacier Tower, say your position. Uh, we are nine miles from the south. Vision Jet 7, Lima Sierra, Roger, on our left downwind runway 20, Port Midfield. Left downwind for 20, we'll report midfield 7, Lima Sierra, thank you. Citation 8, Sierra, try so to there's a big V over point. there, I'm going to fly the airplane, but that's the, the kind of, we call it the V to Glacier Park. You can't see Whitefish Mountain, which is over there. That's the Whitefish Lake right there. Okay. Okay. So. Vision just 7, Lima Sierra, traffic is a Cessna on a departure and left downwind. I think I see him. Midfield. Okay. Yeah, I think you're, yep. yep. Got him. Traffic site for 7, Lima Sierra will be number 2 behind him. Vision Jet 7, Lima Sierra, Roger, you can disregard any report, follow the Cessna, they're on the touch and go, runway 20, clear to land. Clear to land 20, number 2, 7, Lima Sierra, thank you. Cessna 0, safe to Delta, keep it in tight, runway 20, clear to touch and go. We'll keep it in tight, clear to touch and go, 20, Cessna 6506 Delta. All right, heading folks, set to 20. Citation 778, Sierra, Charlie, Glacier Ground, have your clearance we'll when you're ready. Slow it down, we're going to put our gear down. So we got a little bit of time. Right. Here, Speed clear checks. The thermal airport, Vita Scott, two departure. Scott, transition, direct Brof, then as filed. Expect your altitude assignment upon release. Departure frequency, Salt Lake yep. Center, 133.4, squawk 0551. Citation 
Station A here, Charlie, read back correct. All right, speed looks good. There he's turning base. Got him in sight. Got it, he's on final. Not necessarily the best blue sky day, but it's pretty darn good. This is awfully pretty. Right, this is a great place, you're gonna like it. All right, that air's gotta go. We're gonna go. Pull flaps, speed checks. Pull this back a little bit. Altitude. All right, settle down. All right, there he goes. Let's turn it in. Good. Got one red. Five hundred. 500, back off on some of the speed, I got two red, two white, we're right at the red plus 10. We're three green slaps full, cap pressure zero, and we're clear to land. And we are zero. clear to land. Speed's pretty good, I'm going to start to back it down a little, pitch it up a little bit. All dampers away. made. Power's coming out. Float. There we go. Welcome to Glacier National Park. And center lines for professionals. Yeah, we're, I've got the wing still underneath that side. <laughs> Aerodynamic for braking. Love that. Jet 7, Lima Sierra, turn left to Bravo 6, taxi depart via Bravo, remain the frequency. Bravo 6, Bravo, stay with you for 7, Lima Sierra, thank you. Probe heat's coming off, engine heat's coming off. What do you mean? It's a perfect center line. Yeah. That camera just distorts it a little bit because it's crooked. Oh, that's what it was, yeah, you're right. Unbelievable flying with these fighter pilots. <laughs> they think they know everything. Uh. <laughs> tower Cessna 6506 Delta, midfield left downwind 20. Cessna 06 Delta, runway 20, clear for the option. Runway 20, clear for the option. Cessna 6506 Delta. Cleared left, cleared right. Oh wow, they're building a whole new terminal. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Is it needed? I, well, I assume yeah, it's yeah, it 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 pretty been. run down. No, not run down at all. They added on already, Okay. and now they're adding all this. They're expanding it. It's just they have so much traffic through yeah. here that it's gotten so much busier. I mean, 
So again, we were coming out here since 2002. We had a house here in 2009 and for the next uh, 12 years. And it's gotten busier and busier and busier here yeah. each year. So, Well, I see why. It's gorgeous around here. Gonna enjoy it. I see the uh, ski mountain that you were talking about, I think. Yeah, that's, so that's Whitefish Mountain. Okay. Right yep. Well, ladies and gentlemen, my usual line, not my best, not my worst. <laughs> we still have wheels. It was pretty straight. I and greased it. I, <laughs> I did not say that. There's your Eclipse jet right yeah. there. Spent a little time in those. They're pretty fun. Oh, and there's a service center here. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, oh, this is the real place. So... <clears throat> Welcome, welcome, welcome to Glacier Park. We'll get some good pictures. It'll be uh, it'll be fun. This will be a nice overnight before we leave tomorrow for Aspen, Telluride, and and uh, Roswell. All right. So thanks for joining along. All right. Let's go to the shutdown checklist. Let's go right after landing. Flaps are up. That's uh, off. Propeat switches off. External lights are off. That's good. Thrust lever is back. Lead switch is off. Oxygen master is off. Landing lights are off. Oh